Welcome to the Voltstack 30K charging instructional video. Today, we'll show you how to recharge your Voltstack 30K. Without further ado, let's dive in. Before we begin with the recharging process, please adhere to the following instructions. Select a well-ventilated area with sufficient space around the Voltstack 30K. Make sure the area is free from flammable materials and obstacles that could obstruct the charging process. Due to the technical nature of the charging process, we strongly recommend that a certified technician with appropriate training and expertise perform the charging procedure for the Voltstack 30K. We highly recommend using gloves that provide proper insulating protection. Thoroughly inspect the Voltstack 30K and the various cables and respective inlets for any visible damage or loose connections. If you notice any issues, do not proceed with the charging process and consult a professional for assistance. Verify that the supply voltage matches with the corresponding voltage ratings specified on the Voltstack 30K. Those five instructions are crucial and should be kept in mind before recharging your Voltstack 30K, irrespective of the charging method. Speaking of which, there are four ways to charge your Voltstack 30K. 80 amp 5 wire cam lock inlet, 50 amp 4 wire twist lock, 15 amp inlet receptacle, 40 amp EVSE level two inlet, SAE J1772. We'll start with the five wire cam lock inlet. To begin charging your Voltstack 30K, turn off the Voltstack 30K. Ensure the disconnect switch is in the off position. Starting from right to left, match the color codes with the right phases and align the large arrow on the cam lock connector with the entrance groove on the male contact. Insert the cam lock into the male contact. Tighten the connectors by turning them clockwise until they are snug. Starting from right to left, match the color codes with the right phases and align the large arrow on the cam lock connector with the internal button on the female contact on the Voltstack 30K. Insert the female connector into the male contact. Tighten the connectors by turning them clockwise until they are snug. Ensure the correct charging breakers on the Voltstack 30K are in the on position. Turn on the disconnect switch. Turn on the Voltstack 30K. Your Voltstack 30K is now charging. You can monitor state of charge via the Neuron OS app. Once charging is complete or has reached the desired level, turn off the Voltstack 30K. Turn off the disconnect switch. Disconnect the cam lock starting from left to right. Loosen the cam lock connectors by turning them counterclockwise. Next is recharging your Voltstack 30K using the 50 amp four wire twist lock. To begin charging your Voltstack 30K, turn off the Voltstack 30K. Ensure the breakers for the power source are in the off position. Align the guiding tab so that all prongs are in the right position. Insert the 50 amp four wire twist lock connector into the corresponding Voltstack 30K inlet. Twist the connector clockwise to lock it in place. Ensure the correct charging breakers on the Voltstack 30K are in the on position. Next, insert the other end of the cable into the power outlet. Set the breakers for the power source to the on position. Turn on the Voltstack 30K. Your Voltstack 30K is now charging you can monitor state of charge via the Neuron OS app. Once charging is complete or has reached the desired level, turn off the Voltstack 30K. Turn off the breakers for the power source. Turn the 50 amp four wire twist lock counterclockwise and disconnect it from the Voltstack 30K. Next up is recharging your Voltstack 30K using the level two inlet located on the right side panel. To charge your Voltstack with the Level 2 inlet, you can drive your Voltstack 30K up to any Level 2 EV charging station. For this video, we'll use our Voltstack 5K Level 2 E charger to charge the Voltstack 30K. To begin charging your Voltstack 30K, turn off the Voltstack 30K. Locate the master battery buttons on the back panel of the Voltstack 5K. Press both buttons, labeled BAT1 and BAT2. The buttons will illuminate to indicate that the Voltstack 5K is in standby mode. Next, head to the front panel and press the power button and ensure both breakers above the Voltstack 5K's output receptacles are in the on position. 
the green lights will turn on to indicate that your Voltstack 5K is ready to use. This process can take up to seven seconds. Connect the charging cable to the Voltstack 5K's level two outlet. Firmly plug the charging connector into the Voltstack 30K's charging port. You should hear it click into place. Turn on the Voltstack 30K. Your Voltstack 30K is now charging. You can monitor state of charge via the Neuron OS app. Once charging is complete or has reached the desired level, turn off the Voltstack 30K. Disconnect the charging connector from the Voltstack 30K. You can also use a standard 15 amp connector to recharge your Voltstack 30K. However, this method is only useful for trickle charging your Voltstack 30K. To begin trickle charging your Voltstack 30K, turn off the Voltstack 30K. Firmly plug the 15 amp connector into the Voltstack 30K's corresponding inlet. Turn on the Voltstack 30K. Your Voltstack 30K is now charging. You can monitor state of charge via the Neuron OS app. Once trickle charging is complete or has reached the desired level, turn off the Voltstack 30K. Disconnect the 15 amp connector from the Voltstack 30K. Thanks for watching. Happy charging.